Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Assumption. This morning I'd like to introduce a new communion hymn to you. It may be fami familiar to you. It was in the worship screen song repertoire, but we haven't sung it recently. Um, this song is called This is Jesus, and I think it's a beautiful reflection on what we receive during the Eucharist and calls our attention to the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. So we'll be singing it now and then at communion. It's not in Breaking Bread, but you'll find the words on the worship screens. We'll sing the refrain twice, then a verse, and then sing the refrain twice again so that you can become familiar with it. Please join us when you feel comfortable.
Good morning. We have a few announcements. The annual Catholic Services Appeal begins next weekend. The CSA funds essential programs and ministries that benefit our parish and communities throughout West Michigan. Please prayerfully consider how you can use your blessings to support this effort and pray for the success of CSA to bring the joy of Christ to thousands. Sunday, April 21st, Assumption Faith Formation is hosting a bowl painting event to support the annual Catholic Charities, Soups On for All. This is a fun event for the entire family. A spaghetti dinner will be served. An RSVP is required, so please refer to this week's bulletin for details. The next Assumption Blood Drive is Tuesday, April 23rd, from 1.30 to 6.30 p.m. Please consider donating to help save a life. Scheduling information is available in the bulletin and the My Parish app. In the next session of Questions, What We Believe, we will discuss ecumenism, which is the promotion of cooperation and unity among Christians and unity of the world's Christian churches. Join us Thursday, April 18th from 7 to 8.30 in the Church Activity Center. See this weekend's bulletin for more information. And also, please refer to this weekend's bulletin for information about events happening at our parish and within the diocese. Today's prayer intention is for the soul of Gerald O'Neill and we are celebrating the third Sunday of Easter. Please rise and join our opening hymn. Please join in singing our opening hymn, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. Jesus is the scepter, is the throne. Hallelujah, he is the triumph, he is the victory alone. Hark the songs of peaceful Zion, thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus, out of every nation, has redeemed us by his blood. Alleluia, not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia, he is near us, faith believes, no questions how. Though the cloud from sight received him, when the forty days were o'er, shall our hearts forget his promise, I am with you In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, 
You feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. <clears throat> Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. For your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen, amen. Let us pray. May your people exult forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you, the author of life you put to death. But God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand. Through the mouth of all the prophets, 
that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O oh my God. You who relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me and hear my prayer. Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. Lord, let your face shine on us. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, open the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn while you speak to us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how, Jesus had been, and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. 
While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes it's good to uh, take a moment and take stock of where are we right now. Sometimes the best way to find out where you are is to look and say, well, where have I been? And I want to do that for us on the one hand liturgically, where we are in the cycle of, of, of the church's liturgical year, because we're looking forward to Pentecost. We have 40 days of Lent. But that is a time of penitence. And so the church wisely has 50 days of Easter to celebrate the glory of the resurrection. But also, if you read the Acts of the Apostles, that's how long it was between Jesus' resurrection and the actual descent of the Holy Spirit. That's why it's that long or that short, however you want to play that game. But again, where are we right now, third Sunday of Easter? Where have we been? Because we spent 40 days of Lent. And kind of that, that, that regular theme of return to the Lord with your whole heart. Come back to me, says the Lord. Words like, I do not wish the sinner to die, but to turn back to me and live. And so taking Lent as this opportunity, yes, getting ready to celebrate Easter, this time of preparation, but this time of you and I looking into our lives, looking into our hearts, where am I doing well to serve the Lord? Where am I not? Where do I need to ask for forgiveness? And when I examine my life, when I examine my heart, Finding and seeing, but re- seeing, seeing the things that are there, and, and rather than falling into despair and beating myself up and, and kicking myself of, I'm, I'm supposed to be a good Christian, but I'm, I'm failing left and right and center. Rather, seeing this as this opportunity, I know how to return to the Lord with my whole heart. These things I need to work on. These things I need to offer to the Lord. These are the things of this world that I'm holding on to, grasping on to, that I need to just let go. And we're encouraged because of God's love. Come back to me. Return to the Lord with your whole heart. And so we use prayer and fasting and almsgivings, these tools of the church, these tools of Lent, 
so that our hearts can come back to him. And all of this, again, is in preparation for Easter to celebrate Jesus dies the death of our sins so that we can live his resurrected life, a new life in Christ for you and me that we have access to through the sacrament of baptism. When we die with him and are entombed in the waters of baptism like he was entombed, but like he rose out of the tomb, we rise out of the waters of baptism a new creation. And we are adopted sons and daughters of God. And so we celebrate Easter joy. We celebrate with Easter glory our resurrection and our salvation because we are sons and daughters of the Father. Where we have been is returning to the Lord with our whole heart. Where are we right now? We have come back to the Lord, brothers and sisters, which is why Easter is so full of rejoicing because of what God has done, but how we have responded to it with our whole hearts. We are back with him, and we have been renewed, and we have been restored, and so we must rejoice. And now that we are back here, we're looking forward. We're not looking backwards. There's no sliding back into those past sins. We're looking forward because we're following him. The sheep of the flock follow where the brave shepherd goes. Now, I want to point out some things in our, in our opening uh, prayer, our collect for today's Mass. Because it captures this, what I'm talking about. You know, I, I haven't been here quite a year yet. But you guys have picked up on things that I say that are just words that Father Chuck uses a lot. Like to be renewed, restored, transformed, transfigured in Christ. I could go on, but you don't need me to because I'll probably say it again next week. Because they're good things to say. But there's reasons why I say it. L listen to our opening prayer, the collect. It begins. May your people exalt forever, O God. That's a strong beginning, right? May your people, that's you, may we exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit. There's one of those words, renewed. May we exalt forever in renewed youthfulness of spirit so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption. We may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Hear those words. We have been renewed in youthfulness of spirit because of what we celebrate at Easter. Because that salvation is open for us. We have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And we have, so we have been renewed. And because we've been renewed, we are rejoicing in that restored glory of our adoption. That We are sons and daughters. And even though we have fallen into sin, there is forgiveness of sins in Jesus Christ. There is absolution for us and cleansing in the sacrament of confession. So that when we have fallen, we can return to the Lord and be restored in the glory of our baptism. And being restored in the glory of our baptism, what are we doing? Well, we are looking forward, not in fear, not in not in trepidation, but with confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Not the day of resurrection that we celebrated a couple of Sundays ago, but the ultimate day of resurrection at the end of time. And so we are looking forward to that again with confident hope because we follow where the brave shepherd has gone. 
We are rejoicing in Easter glory, brothers and sisters. We are renewed and we are restored in who we are because we have returned to the Lord with our whole heart. And the greatest part of this is that the Lord has received us into his life to be with him now and forever, which is why may your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing in the restored glory of their of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Brothers and sisters, capture this joy. Know who you are, restored and renewed as sons and daughters of God. And rejoice because Jesus Christ has been raised from the dead. And we are changed because of that. In a few minutes, as I hold up Jesus in the most blessed sacrament, I will say these words, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Well, brothers and sisters, you and I are blessed. You and I are those who rejoice. Because as we behold the Lamb of God, we recognize that we are being held by the Lamb of God who takes away our sins. As we stand, brothers and sisters, with joy in our hearts, we profess our faith, saying, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in our Heavenly Father, with exultant praise in our hearts and on our lips, we have courage to bring our needs and petitions before Him now. that those who are baptized at Easter continue to grow in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For increased reverence for the gift of the Eucharist, especially as we all prepare for the National Eucharistic Congress in July. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, That the wisdom of Christ will guide our civil leaders to make decisions based on truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord that as we begin the Catholic Services Appeal, God may bless our parish and diocese by strengthening our faith in granting us the spirit of Christian generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. For all families, that they will sanctify Christ as Lord in their hearts and homes. Let us pray to the Lord. 
for the protection of all who risk their lives to defend peace in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For those prayers we offer in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all our beloved dead, especially Gerald O'Neill. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray too for those in our families who have died, for those in our parish family who have gone before us, and for all the holy souls in purgatory, that they may be granted their place among the company of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray too for, we pray too for the region of the Middle East, for all of those who are hurting, who are suffering. We pray for healing. We pray for the grace of forgiveness. We pray that the light and the love of Jesus Christ would reign over all. And we pray for peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Father, you who know the hearts and the minds of each of your sons and your daughters, you who indeed know our deepest needs, Father, we ask you to hear these prayers that we lift up before you, these that we've spoken aloud, those that we hold in our hearts. And in your love, in your goodness, answer our prayers according to your holy will in the way that you see best as we make this prayer through the name and the power of your Son, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing our song for preparation of the gifts, Speak, O Lord, found on the worship screens.
Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising, the life of all, has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we've brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help, May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
join in singing our communion hymn in the breaking of the bread. Please join us in singing the Anima Christi.
Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And then uh, before our final blessing, uh, just uh, two thoughts. Uh, number one, um, we are going to be uh, beginning our Catholic service appeal, uh, CSA, which is the... Um, which is our uh, parish support of the diocese. Um, and just as a reminder, the Diocese of Grand Rapids is, is actually not a small area. Um, if you want to start in the northwest corner, um, all the way up a Ludington, so northwestern Mason County, all the way down the lake shore, at Holland, southern Ottawa County, coming over to Kent, to, through Caledonia, picking up you know, Portland and up that 66 corridor, so Ionia County, all the way up to Everett and the actual northeast corner of our, our diocese, Marion, St. Agnes and Marion, if you've ever been there, you should go. Um, but that's an 11-county area uh, here in West Michigan. And our Catholic Service Appeal, the diocese, um, this is what supports all of the ministries of the diocese throughout all of those areas. Um, there will be, of course, more information and stuff like that uh, coming out. I think there's a, there's a letter from me that you may receive later this week, or maybe you got it in the mail on Friday. Um, uh, the, the target goal for our parish this year uh, is, I was supposed to know this, hold on, $175,000, $175,118, there. Um, which is, a, a do, uh, I think, a, a doable goal uh, for us uh, here at, at Assumption. So, um, again, there will be uh, more information coming out on that. And so just, uh, just asking you guys to be able to be, to be generous uh, as you are able to be. Um, second, oh, I guess there's going to be a third thing. Second is this. I, I know I mentioned um, uh, what's happening like right now, right now uh, in the Middle East uh, during the petitions. Um, It's probably not something that I'm going to mention very often. And there, there's reasons for that, not that I'm avoiding it. Um, but, but I want you guys to know, so um, a friend of mine uh, is a chaplain uh, for, uh, for the military. Um, who, he serves the, um, the, um, the Air Force. And uh, as of a couple weeks ago, uh, right after Easter, he's on a six-month deployment in Saudi Arabia. So as you can imagine, um, having a, a friend, a flesh and blood like I know that, that guy um, who's over there, of course concerned for him, concerned for the, the men and women that he serves in the armed forces, both in the Air Force as well as just in the wider. So we, we would do well um, to, to pray for, for everything that's going on, that, that the peace of Christ, that his healing and that his forgiveness uh, would reign in the hearts and, and minds of, of everyone over there and indeed throughout the world. <clears throat> Lastly, then, is this, um, on a little happier note, um, later this afternoon, um, our eighth graders are going to be confirmed by Bishop Olkoviak at the cathedral. Um, that Mass is at 3 o'clock. So during that hour of mercy, um, if you remember them, and I'm telling you, therefore, to remember them, Remember to pray for our eighth graders as they receive confirmation that the Lord would just pour out his grace into their hearts and that their hearts would be ready to receive and be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that being said, brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing our song of sending forth, Jesus is Risen. Jesus is risen, let us sing. Praise to the ever-living King. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Praise him in song, ye seraphim. Praise him with joy, ye cherubim. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. To God, the only day of days, let us together sing his praise. Alleluia, alleluia. Raise joyful voices to the sky. Sing out ye heavens in reply. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. 